Hi everyone. Today we are going to be doing a little project for music and that is how to create a xylophone using water and glasses. And I also have a chopstick which I'm going to be using to play my xylophone for now. And you may or may not have noticed that when you tap a glass, it makes a sound or a pitch and that pitch you can actually find on the piano. Now each of these different glasses, you can tell I used um, five different glasses in front of me for now, has a different sound when I tap it without water. When I add water, it changes each of the pitches. The more water I add to the glass, the lower the pitch. So I can actually tune using water each of these glasses in order to play a scale. So I have in front of me the first five notes of the scale, which are do, re, mi, fa, so. Now, I decided that I'm gonna be in the key of G, which means that my note, do, is going to be G. So we have do, which is G, then re would be So you're wondering, how did I do that? Now, I started with my first glass to be Do, and I tuned this glass to it, like I said, the note G. There are a couple ways you could do this. If you know how to play the note G on the piano, you can play it, and then you can tap the glass and add a little bit of water at a time until your glass is playing the same pitch as the note on the piano. You can either do that, or you can look, use the links below which we have a separate link for each note. So we have a link for G, which when you click on that link, it'll play the note G for you. And again, you tap the glass and you add a small amount of water at a time until your glass matches the same G pitch. And then you're going to do the same with A, which is a separate link. And the same with B and C and D. Now it's a little tricky because you have to work hard to listen really hard and you might need to repeat the video a couple of times. Um, but eventually, you should have your scale, which is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, or G, A, B, C, D. Those are our five notes that we're going to be using for now. Now that I have my scale, I can just play the scale up and down. I can make my own song. Totally up to you. Now today, I really wanted to play the note Twinkle Twinkle, but Twinkle Twinkle doesn't just use the first five notes of the scale, it also has another note, which is La. So I need one more glass in order to play La. So now I have six glasses. And in the key of G, my note La is going to be E. So I'm actually gonna show you today how, how I figured out how to play my note La. going to empty out the water in my glass and I'm going to do it from scratch so you can see how I do it. So I have my note now. It has my glass has no water in it. it. Sounds a lot higher than it did before, right? I have my water and I'm going to slowly add. You've probably noticed already that as I'm adding the water, the pitch has gotten lower. Now I'm going to put on my link for E, which like I said, is underneath in the description. You can find the link for E. I'm gonna play that and I'm gonna try and see if I can match my glass to the note E. Notice that these two glasses are the same, but D has slightly more water because it's lower, and B has slightly less because it's higher. So now that I have my note E, I can play the song Twinkle Twinkle. Which starts on Do, so we have Do, Do, So, So, Do, So, Fa, Fa, Mi, Re, Re, Do, Do, So, Fa, Fa, Mi, Re,
written in our Google Classroom, so you can practice that as well. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually um, add some color to these. Now, I already labeled my note do is red, my note re is orange, mi is yellow, la is green, so is blue, and la is purple. So for fun, if you would like, I also have food dye. So I'm going to add just a drop of food dye into my glasses so that I can use, um, I can color code each of my notes with the color of the scale. So we have dough, which is red, and I'll use my chopstick, mix it around. Ooh, it looks so pretty. There's my red dough. And for orange, I'm going to need, of course, red and yellow. So one drop of red, one drop of yellow. There's my yellow. I also have green. And I also have blue. Ooh, they're getting so pretty. See, I have my red, I have my yellow, my green, my blue, and my purple. So pretty, right? So now I can play, and I can also have my color coded. So that is up to you whether you would like to add some food coloring to it. Um, the song that we're actually going to be doing this week, if you would like to play along with your water xylophone, um, is the song Yellow Submarine, which is by the Beatles. It's one of my favorite songs ever. And for that song, we actually don't need our high note la over here. So I'm going to take this one away. But however, we do need a low la. So this one I tuned to be low E, which is going to be underneath do underneath G. So this is still E, but now it's our low E. It's an octave lower than our other La. And now we have our low La, which we will need for yellow submarine. So I've got all my color coded glasses and you can also find the colors and the notes to play for yellow submarine. The verse starts on me and it goes like this. repeats and you'll see like I said on the Google Classroom and we also have the chorus which goes try it. Um, it's a lot of fun and you can do tons of stuff with it. You don't just have to do Yale Submarine, you can make your own song um, and enjoy. Thank you so much.